Twitter poses a threat to national security and democracy. The CNN exclusive this morning, coming from a new whistleblower report. I'm John Berman. Brianna is off. CNN Chief White House Correspondent Caitlin Collins with me this morning with some big news. This is major news, and it's fascinating to see how Elon Musk, Elon Musk is now re responding to all of this. That's right. We do have a new response. It says national security, media, business implications, and it's all about alleged security vulnerabilities and recklessness. The disclosure obtained by CNN and also the Washington Post comes from Twitter's former head of security. Peter Zatko's claims were sent last month to Congress and several federal agencies. In this 200-page disclosure, Zatko portrays a chaotic environment at a mismanaged company that allows too many staffers access to central controls and sensitive information without adequate oversight. Zatko also alleges that some of the company's senior most executives have tried to cover up Twitter's vulnerabilities. CNN's Doni O'Sullivan is here with the exclusive details. And Doni, what exactly are we seeing? What are the main headlines out of this disclosure? That's right, Caitlin. A lot to break down in this. Uh, this disclosure is in the hands of multiple U.S. law enforcement agencies, including uh, the SEC and Department of Justice. And today, Zatko is speaking out for the first time to CNN. Have a look. Ready? Yes. Why are you coming forward? All my life, I've been about finding places where I can go uh, and make a difference. This is Peter Zacco. Until January of this year, he was head of security at Twitter, but now he's a whistleblower. And he says Twitter's security problems are so grave, they are a risk to national security and democracy. I think Twitter is a critical resource to the entire world. I think it's an extremely important platform. He's handed over information about the company to U.S. law enforcement agencies, including the SEC, FTC, and the Department of Justice. May I ask your name in the middle? Uh, I'm Mudge. Zatko is better known in the hacking world by his nickname, Mudge. He's been a renowned cybersecurity expert for decades. His roots are in hacking, figuring out how computers and software work. That expertise might be why Jack Dorsey, then CEO of Twitter, hired Zacco after the company was hit by a massive attack in 2020 when hackers took over the accounts of some of the world's most famous people. Mudge was one of the top uh, five or six executives at the company. Zacco is represented by John Tai, who founded Whistleblower Aid, the same group that represented Facebook whistleblower Francis Haugen. We are in touch with the law enforcement agencies. They're taking this seriously. Twitter is pushing back, saying Zacco is peddling a narrative about our privacy and data security practices that is riddled with inconsistencies and inaccuracies and lacks important context. When we spoke to Zacco and his lawyer, they said that the lawful whistleblower disclosure process only allows them to talk about these issues in general terms. For specific allegations about Twitter, they referred us to Zacco's disclosure. I'm not going to go into details. But I will say that Mudge stands by the disclosure and the allegations in there. CNN and The Washington Post obtained a copy of the disclosure from a senior Democratic official on Capitol Hill. In it, Zacco claims nearly half of Twitter's employees have access to some of the platform's main critical controls. There's an analogy of an airplane. So you get on an airplane and every passenger and the uh, uh, attendant crew all have access to the cockpit, to the controls, you know, that's entirely unnecessary. It might be easy, but there it's too easy to accidentally or intentionally turn an engine off. Twitter accounts belonging to a whole lot of famous people. Former that President kind of Obama access contributed to the massive West, attack in the summer of 2020 other, when hackers, two of them teenagers, tricked a couple of Twitter employees into letting them into Twitter's systems. That gave them access to accounts, including that of then presidential candidate Joe Biden. I don't have to tell you the significance of being able to breach uh, the Twitter accounts with many millions of followers, including of leading politicians three months from a presidential election. Uh, In the disclosure, you quote from a Wired magazine article that says, but if a teenager with access to an administration panel can bring the company to its knees, just imagine what Vladimir Putin can do. Foreign intelligence agencies have uh, the resources to identify vulnerabilities that could have systemic ac effects across an entire platform, across the whole internet. Twitter told CNN that since the 2020 hack, it had improved these access systems and had trained staff to protect themselves against hacking. If you're running any system, 
the more people that have access to the main switches, yeah. that's a very risky situation. Yes, uh, absolutely. I'm talking in generalities, just large tech companies need to know what the risks are, and then they also need to have an appetite to go fix it. Zacco also claims Twitter has been misleading about how many fake accounts and bots are on its platform. That's an issue that Elon Musk has made central to his attempt to get out of a deal to buy the company. I guess right now uh, I'm sort of debating the number of bots on Twitter. Uh, there will be suspicions of the timing of this. Are you guys carrying water for Elon Musk? Absolutely not. We've been following the news just like everyone else, uh, but that has nothing to do with his decisions or with the content of, uh, of what was sent in to US law enforcement agencies. Mudge hasn't been talking to Musk in the background or anything like Not that. Not at all. Zacco says he was fired by Twitter in January of this year after he tried to raise the alarm internally. He points the finger at Twitter CEO Parag Agarwal, saying he has worked to hide Twitter's security vulnerabilities from the board. I suspect that uh, Twitter might tried to paint it like this, that Mudge got fired and he's trying to retaliate against the company. A absolutely not. This is not any kind of personal issue for him. He was eventually fired in January of this year, but he hasn't given up on, on trying to do that job. In response to the allegations, Twitter told CNN security and privacy had long been a priority at Twitter. As for Zacco, they said he, quote, was fired from his senior executive role at Twitter more than six months ago for poor performance and leadership. He now appears to be opportunistically seeking to inflict harm on Twitter, its customers, and its shareholders. Your whole perception of the world is made from what you are seeing, reading, and consuming online. And if you don't have an understanding of what's real, what's not, yeah, I think this is pretty scary. Are you nervous? Yeah, yeah. This wasn't my first choice. That's, yeah, I, I just want to make the world a better place, a safer place. The levers that I have to do it are through uh, security, information, and privacy. Of course, there's a lot to this story. A big part of it will become the bots, Elon Musk. And we uh, are just getting a reaction from Elon Musk's lawyer, Alex Spiro, who told us uh, this morning that they've already actually issued a subpoena for Zacco for the whistleblower. They found his exit and that of other key employees curious in light of what we have been finding. Uh, so even before this disclosure came to light this morning, Musk's lawyers have been wondering, why was that guy kicked out of the company? And that's new news. I mean, that's just in. Right that's now. a fresh response from this report that you're just putting up this morning for CNN, Doni. Stick around. We've got a lot to talk about with this. Obviously, there are national security and business implications. So joining us now, CNN Chief Business Correspondent Christine Romans and CNN contributor and author of The Only Plane in the Sky, Garrett Graff. And Garrett, you've written extensively about national security. And I do want to start with the national security implication here, because when a whistleblower says that Twitter's a threat to national security and democracy, that sounds alarming. You know, why exactly? What do you see in this that is of such concern? So I think there are two things that really stand out to me. One is just the sheer credibility uh, of the, the whistleblower. I mean, Peter Zacco, that's the name he's using today. Anyone in cybersecurity knows him as much. I mean, this is one of the sort of original hackers in this space, testified before Congress in the 1990s, uh, was a member of the preeminent hacking collective loft of the 1990s, invented, you know, more or less invented one of the most basic security uh, attacks of all time. Uh, you know, this is a warning from Chuck Yeager saying, I'm worried about the danger of that plane. Um, I mean, this is, this is someone that you have to listen to. Now, when you get into what his actual allegations are, uh, what, what again really stands out is how long Twitter has been working on some of these internal controls, and they still fail. Um, and, and of course, uh, Mudge was brought on after this in, in incredibly worrisome hack of some of the most prominent attack, uh, most uh, most prominent accounts on Twitter. Um, we were all really lucky that that attack was a cryptocurrency scam and not a foreign intelligence service or a, a hacker trying to start nuclear war. I mean, Twitter in many ways is where wars could start in this moment uh, and the, the information could move there faster 
in an attack than anyone would be able to respond to.